Australia, right around the country on Foxtel's Aurora and on demand on YouTube. This is the scene. It's all about great Australian and West Australian music. My name is Blake Williams. Hello. We can't do it without our mates at Atomic Beer and Sound Centre Morley as well. Now, October 24, hopefully this is in your diary. It's our end of season concert. Three bands on stage, Claudia Tripp, Mitchell Martin and Ashes of Autumn. It's 20 bucks to get in. There's a food truck outside, a fully stocked bar. Tickets available right now through Taz Ticks. Hopefully, you can join us Sunday, October 24. Now, uh, on stage tonight, our second last episode of the season, these guys picked up the Frio Social Battle of the Bands competition, a show that uh, we sponsor here at the scene. In the studio, please give it up for Blackstone Brewers live on the scene.
best Australian music. The Blackstone Brewers, everybody. How good were they a few moments ago? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Two applause in ten seconds. It's you doing pretty well, boys. Best we've ever done. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Of course, you guys picked up um, the well, the winners for the uh, Frio Social Battle of the Band competition, which we'll talk about uh, in a little bit. But let's let's go back. So this incarnation of the band, how old is it now? Like like thirteen months. Man, not o much. Officially, huh? last June. It's kind yeah, of like a COVID band. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Soon after the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because you, you, were, you existed before and then some members changed and then last year kind of got back into it just in time for the world yeah, to, to stop pretty much. working. So, I mean, uh, myself, Rob, Blair and Jono uh, are, are from version 1.0, yep. so to speak. Um, and then, yeah, when was that? 2019. Is that what we said? June? No, 20. June 2020. It was last year, yeah. Yeah, um, I decided I was bored of just playing by myself. Yep. <laughs> uh, and oh, no, I, the year before that. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I just I'm glad we finally to... worked that out there. <laughs> I still don't know. It's a lot easier now. I still don't know. The scary thing is, Does... when, he come, when it comes to dates, he's, he's got total recall as well. Oh, yeah. really? Well, that one escapes me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? It's, it's been a minute. Here. It's been a minute. Let's, been a minute. let's, let's go with that. Yeah. Um, but you got, but the, of course, the band was together. They started writing some songs. So how did it kind of work songwriting wise? Does someone write a majority of the tune and then bring it into the boys? No, nah, everyone has to write. Because. Uh, we need we need input from everyone um, so quite often we'll start with just some lyrics or we'll start with a riff or two and then everyone gets their dirty greasy mitts on it and we sort of <laughs> mess with it from there were you doing this in lockdown last year mm, a, little, a little bit a little bit yeah, yeah. Were we? yeah. yeah a little yeah. bit last year in, um, in home and not and then the brewery. A lot in the, this year's lockdowns as well. Yeah, um, right. And so how do you do songwriting? We didn't writing? break quarantine, though. No, no. <laughs> we, we were, I wasn't suggesting that. <laughs> we were um, good. But how, did you, how did you do the kind of, uh, you know, that distance songwriting? Like, write a part, send it to somebody. How do you kind of do it? I remember there's a song that Rob and I have been working on for a bit. Um, Rob had these lyrics and a little bit of a vibe going. And he just sent it to me over Messenger. Um, I just start vibing, playing with it, and then <laughs> literally in the voice member, I have just had that golden moment of like, this is it, this is the bit. Like you can actually hear it in the voice member, just like, oh, this is the chorus, this is how it's supposed mm. to go, and like send it back, and Rob's like, that's amazing, I'm crying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I Let's do not cry. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being ecstatic, and, and Jono was crying, I think. <laughs> <when> he... <laughs> Throw it back on me. In yeah. terms of influences for you guys, um, let's just go along the couch and our extra mm. chair. Um, mm. <laughs> we don't. We need to get another couch, a bigger couch in the next season. Um, but let's go through influences, like the big bands that kind of got you into music and started out this end. Um, Coldplay yeah. is the reason <laughs> I am still here. <laughs> so yeah. In, what, yeah. in God, that got every band. <laughs> uh, Phil Collins and Anderson Park. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah. Awesome. If we're going right back to the beginning, the Backstreet Boys, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you start, and, and then it gets better from there. Well, that was a given. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, it's Muse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to be the total odd one out here, and Eric Clapton. We can. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's not what our music is like. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm kind of going Backstreet Boys, Phil Collins, Muse. Um, this is an amazing collection of artists <laughs> yeah. to see what, what, what's created. We um, write pop songs. Well, uh, well <laughs> that's right. In four part harmonies, are there dance moves though? Because that's what uh, I feel like we need to. Ooh. We don't have enough space, but yes. <laughs> They're working on it, okay. Yeah. That's, that's for the album launch a little bit later. Um, let's, so, cause this was the second Battle of the Band competition you guys had won, right? Third. Third! Third. Yeah, what? we won one back in version 1.0. Yeah, <laughs> so right. Back in the day. So, so we're, we're retiring from the Battle of the Bands thing. We're free, <laughs> free. we don't need it anymore. Yeah, that's right. I think this is the, the, the first proper Battle of the Bands. I mean, won. unless yeah. there's more prize money, then we'll try and get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I guess the good thing about, you know, winning like a Battle of the Bands comp, you know, three times over, is the, is the fact that, you know, obviously you're connecting, obviously what you're doing is, is working. If you were, you know, none for three, you would tell you something different. But three for three, Look, you've got to feel To be good. honest, we just dragged the most people <clears throat> to there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and convinced them to buy a beer and put a token in a thingy. <laughs> We won. That's what I mean by first proper. This was the last one that had any kind of judging. Oh, we had some judges. Yeah, yeah. Some people. yeah. <laughs> yeah sweet. We, okay. No, we're awesome. Yeah. We, we, we I take back it. my previous yeah, statement. Yeah. Uh, what did you actually win with with this competition? 
Uh, oh, big novelty check. That was cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. excited about the novelty yeah. check. <laughs> uh, like was, a, with a $1,000 novelty check, was yeah, it? Yeah, there was a yeah. bit of cash involved. Uh, Can you actually take that to the bank? Do they actually, is it legal Should tender? we try? We, we didn't try. I mean, if there's a bank called Other Side Brewing <laughs> Company, <laughs> then maybe. Yeah, so just in my room. What have, what have we got? A uh, thousand bucks. We got this whole shindig. Um, yeah. We got a single uh, mixed and and recorded with Tristan at Sumo Sounds. And awesome then time. and then some other things that I've forgotten. Some goodies for mega music. Yeah. You're yeah, right. Yeah. It's a whole kind of price bag. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. was all put on. This is... um. Big Tomo, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, as you know, you guys want to do a shout out, and we do too, because Tom does yeah, um, Tom you know, great work around. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he's going to take that little bit of video and he's going to watch that a thousand times. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we Share it all out. over his social. <laughs> and everybody gave him an applause as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, but uh, how important do you think that these kind of battle of the bands are? These kind of opportunities to be out there playing when you know the world is in a very different place to where WA is. We're very lucky to be doing stuff like the, this. The, the thing for us um, was we were already playing a gig or two for Tom Oak. Um, and then like this, um, this Battle of the Bands thing came on and it was like, it was at Frio Social. So we were straight away like, we want to be on that stage. When, when That's we, a good venue. When yeah, we got really. a spot, because I'm a passionate Frio boy, um, uh, when we got a spot, I was like, oh my God, because Blair does all the booking for the gigs and. He does an amazing job at it. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, <laughs> I do all right. Better than I ever did. Um, I was playing Fly By Night Club. Yeah. And yeah. Like, and, and that was, to me, like, I can take you around the corner from uh, Free Air Social and show you where my locker was at my school. Like, yeah, right. And to me, that means a lot. Yeah. To be able to pl play, um, at, um, play at Free Air Social. And yeah. then we took, and then we took, the win home and I was I was ecstatic it was just amazing absolutely and, and it's and such a, a good stage put us in front of quite a lot of people that maybe wouldn't have seen us at, at other yeah. venues and yeah. stuff that yeah. final Hell was yeah. packed yeah absolutely yeah. you're playing to a packed out crowd and mm. that room like the backstage room at Frio Social when you walk in and it's got every band that's played there yeah. you know drawn yeah. on the wall yeah. uh, we had the Wham Awards there this week and I was just sort of looking around the room going it's a lot of, there's a lot of history at, yeah. this, mm. at this place mm. in the Fly By Night incarnation yeah. and what it is now it's really, really cool. Mm. Um, Rob, John, and Simon, you guys met at school, right? You were playing in bands at school, is that correct? I'm, I'm like way older than those guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we could say we went to the same school. They played at bands. I played in a different well, band. We sing the same choir, though. Yeah. We go way more. Um, but yeah, Simon and I were in a band in year 12. What choir um, was this? The school choir at school. Okay. Oh, school yeah. choir at school. That's great English. <laughs> um, Full of Phil Collins and Backstreet Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively. <laughs> uh, what school was this? Uh, Wesley College. Okay. Um, yeah, right. So, yeah, um, the choir director was amazing. We did like a giant thing of Africa. Yep. Viva La Vida. It was like such a good time. Nice. The choir was huge. Viva well. La Vida, like Ricky Martin? Coldplay. Coldplay. Oh, that's. <laughs> that's Viva La Vida Loca. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how did you find my other influence? I only said Backstreet Boys. If I saw Wesley College boys doing Live in La Vida Loca. I wouldn't put it past them, to be honest. I didn't <laughs> nail it, though. I didn't quite, nail it, man. That would be quite incredible. Um, so you were playing, like, so really the band kind of started in some incarnation at, at school, like playing in school band. Yeah. Um, oh. Like, for me, I've only ever been wanting to do music, so right. I need to surround myself with other people who share my passion and interest in music and um, I'm glad I found it in these guys but yeah when I was at school it was with Simon and then yeah like the three of us used to work at the same cafe so we'd talk about our music and Blair and I would be I'd be teaching him about music theory while he's cooking a steak or you know whatever yeah. <laughs> that's kind of how version 1.0 kind of mm. started right and in so, the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. but mutual love for music. And yeah. let's, let's talk about the new single, which you guys are going to get up uh, and do in just a few moments as well. So, Tired Eyes is what it's called. When did this song, when was this written? <laughs> this is the first thing we did when we came yeah. back. Yeah, it was, it, was, Rob and I. it was written in my study. I was going through a period of like practicing guitar before work at like 6 a.m. Oh, wow. So, the main riff was written then. And I was like, Jono, this is when, yeah, when the band started again. I was like, Jono, we need to turn some things into songs. And that's, that's quite, Jono's quite good at doing that. I'll bring him like a mess of riffs and bits and pieces and he'll start putting it together. Right. So that's where this one came from originally, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So and we 
This is the one that has the launch in a few weeks' time as well, right? Yeah, uh, so November 12th at yeah. the Rosemont Hotel. Brilliant. Book it in yeah. your calendars. <laughs> <laughs> November 12th of that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Another round of course. Um, um, so well, it's a culmination of all of the Battle of the Band stuff. So the single session that we got out of that, we've um, put a bit of extra work into that. It's being mixed. And, uh, yeah, it'll be released on the 5th, the week of November. Yeah. Yeah. November, absolutely. Is this yeah. part of a larger EP? Uh, stuff EPs. <laughs> <laughs> we want to jump straight to an album. Um, hey! That's a, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's interesting because just... You know, I, I love albums. Nobody makes them anymore. It's yeah. We'll, like, do, a, like, we'll get, do a few singles on the way. Yeah, yeah. But like to try and pay for the record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, we've got no, like do it. twelve yeah. songs just sitting in the bank, and I was like, I just want people to hear them. Yeah. And, like this is where we're at now, and we're already moving on to new things, and we kind of just want to encapsulate this is who we are now, and just get that out so we can move on to something else mm. and keep developing who we are. Because yeah, since Rob and I wrote yeah. Tired Eyes two years ago, like the stuff we're writing now, so. Puppet and the Monster, the song we just played, is like the most recent song, and they're like the evolution of how we've gone through has just developed so much. And so yeah, yeah absolutely. Stoked. And what's the timeline for for this album to to kind of get out there? Have you set yourself a timeline? <laughs> I would like to record it in mid to late next year. So I think it's probably more about setting a budget than a yeah. Budget. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, I love all yeah, this broadcast, 10 and 19 people it watch it. You guys should be uh, yeah. in the money. That was really great. <laughs> <right. laughs> uh, so album, album is on the way, of course. The launch, you can find all the details. The best place to find you online, all the social media handles. Where do we go? Uh, so check us out on face, uh, Facebook on Blackstone Brewers and then just same on uh, Instagram, YouTube as well. We're chucking some videos up there just to get some stuff out. Um, there's a music video coming as well for the single. It great. looks... Awesome. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. You guys are really you're doing a great job. You know, you're, you're doing all the right things. You're, you're writing, you're collaborating, you're, you're putting uh, great content out there. That's all you can do, you know what I mean? And, of course, the launch, which we're all really looking forward to, that is happening on the 12th of November at yeah. the Rosemount. Correct. Yeah. Lovely. And the single that they're about to do is out on the 5th as well. In the studio, give it up yeah. for Blackstone. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take a short break right here on Foxtel around Australia. Then we get back into it. Blackstone Brothers live.
Thank you. Thank you. Blackstone Brewers on the scene, everybody. How good was that? Catch us next week, our very last episode of the year, of the season. Indoor Fins, Timothy, Timothy Nelson and crew joined us for the very last show. One more round of applause. Blackstone Brewers. Catch you next week. This is The Scene.